The funeral rites for Madam Violet Remilekun Oluwarantimi, Philip George, ni Aganga Williams, began with a wake-up service that took place at the City Hall Lagos on Tuesday, 24th of May, 2016. The children of Madam Violet Remilekun Philip George, among whom were Chief Olabode George, his siblings, close and extended family members, were joined by friends and well-wishers from different sectors of life. Those in attendance to show solidarity with the family of George Philip and Aganga Williams from Lagos and Abeokuta in Ogun State included Sekasenti Nadebutu CON, former Minister of State for Defense Erelu Olushala Obada, Chief Ebenezer Babatope, former Inspector General of Police Mr. Misiliu Smith, Senator Adeshewe Ogunlewe, Mr. Jimmy Agbaje, Lagos State White Cap Chiefs, and a very rich array of clergymen from the Methodist denomination. The wake up service began in earnest with the reading of the first lesson by Chief Olabode George, the only son of Madame Violet Remilekun George Philip Niaganga Williams. Let us rejoice and exalt and give him the glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made him herself ready. It was granted her to be clothed with fine linen bright and pure, for the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. And the angel said to me, write this, blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, these are true words of God. Then I fell down at his feet to worship him. This is followed by congregational hymnal singing. In the session of testimonies observed at the wake up service, family members and religious fathers testified to the Christian, God fearing, and good natured way of life of the deceased, who was described as a mother in a million, always smiling no matter the situation. Those who spoke included Chief Tola Onojobi, who was married to the second daughter of the deceased, and Mrs. Victoria Olainka, who told the congregation that. Mama taught her how to fast and how to have unshaken belief in God. And by the grace of God today, I thank Mama for she lived a beautiful, virtuous, glorious life. When you are looking for the rascal of the family, this is the old man. I troubled a lot. I did many things that is unwanted and unwarranted and ungodly. But that woman we always say, sleep on my bed. Don't worry. When I have a quarrel, that is a woman with a large heart. My beloved auntie, we grew up together at number one Aganga Lake in Dumota, Lagos. She's my beloved auntie. She's a servant leader. She can run errands for anybody. He won't even complain and is a devoted Christian. It's from her that I learned how to fast 40 days and 40 nights during Lenten service. She will not miss it. And she attends church regularly. There are more hymns and reading from the Holy Scriptures. The preacher chose his message from Psalm chapter 39, verse 4. In the sermon, the officiating minister reminded the gathering that the earth is a temporary and transient abode for mortals, but heaven is our eternal home. And since death is the inevitable price we must all pay when the time comes, we must all be ready to give our life to God, to have a place in heaven. The man of God said confidently that he was sure that Mamare Milekun Phillips George is already with the angels. This world in which we have is our temporary home. 
We shall be here for a while, and either we like it or not, we shall return to the source being. The source being is our creator who brought us to this world. The earth is temporary and transient. The vote of thanks was delivered by Chief Olabode George, who said that as Mama's only son, he was the apple of her eyes and he can never go wrong. Emotions took the better part of him midway through his remarks. My mom was, I could never do anything wrong because I was a konimi and, uh, and she never was afraid to say it anywhere. Allah body being a judge, my only son. We'll miss her. We'll miss, we'll miss her counseling. But we are happy that she's definitely resting in the bosom of the Lord. I want to thank everybody who has come and the Almighty God will take you back home safely. There were more hymns before the final prayer session it was said by Reverend Ephraim Adibola Dimo. The final church service to finally commit the remains of Mama Remilekun George Phillips, who joined the Saints Triumphants at the age of 91 years to God, took place at the Methodist Church in the Oluogbo area of Lagos State on Wednesday, 25th of May 2016. The service formally began as the clergymen and children of the deceased led her mortal remains into the church as the congregation and choir sang along. Prayers were offered before the first lesson was taken by the second daughter of Mama, Mrs. Ibironke Onojobi, Ni George. She took her reading from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 5, from verses 15 to 17. And in the Lord is their reward, and the care for them with the Most High. Therefore shall they receive the crown of royal dignity. And with his hands shall he shield them. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. The son of the deceased, Chief Olabade George, read the citation on his mother's life and times titled Life of Fulfillment. In it, Madame Violet Oluarotimi Ni Remilekun Philip George was said to have been born in 1925 during the period of the Great World War. Her parents are of Lagos and Egba extraction. She lost her mother during childbirth, and the task of raising and nurturing her fell on the laps of her grandmother, who discharged the function very effectively and efficiently. Madam Ulure Milekun Ulua Notimi Philip George lived a life of an enviable Christian, a devoted wife, a dirty mother, a dedicated Christian and a passionate humanitarian who could not watch and see others suffer without raising a helping hand. She was kind, very warm-hearted, and instinctively modeling sacrifice to leave others out of difficulties. She will be remembered for the immense glow of her Christian philosophy. A professional nurse, Mama Remilekun George Phillips, was described as a dutiful wife and a devout Christian who belonged to the Egbe Felodun of the Olobo Methodist Church. The tribute of the primate of the Methodist Church of Nigeria, Most Reverend Carlo Uche, who was unavoidably absent, was presented at the service. In it, he also attested to the general belief that Madam Remilekun George Phillips gave her entire life to God and everything that gave happiness to everyone. In the sermon preached, Mama's Christian life and very devoted commitment to the development of the Methodist Church Olobo Lagos was acknowledged, while her children and other family members were advised to keep her legacies aloft. 
This term is a wonderful metaphor of new life from God. You cannot be a Christian without a fresh beginning based on the salvation Jesus brings. To be born again is a magnificent gift from God Almighty. In the Thanksgiving session, it was hearty dancing and jubilation galore as Governor Lushegu Mimiko and his wife, Chief Ayodele Fayoshe, Tumagbenga Daniel, Mr. Jimmy Agbaje, Chief Sarafa Ishola, joined Chief Olabodi George, his siblings, and other family members to celebrate Mama. Move to the gallery, please. <laughs> The children of the deceased and other family members were took in the Holy Communion and they were prayed for later. Members of the Egba Fair, of which Mama was the Vice President, did a final singing for her to remember her. The service ended with special renditions, first by female soloists and later an all-male group. The Ebony Vaults at Jikoi, Lagos was where Mama Violet Remilekun George Phillips' remains were laid to rest in the presence of all her children and other family members after final prayers, followed by the dust-to-dust -dust formalities by the children. The reception to formally end all the activities of the final burial rites for Madam Violet Remilekun George Phillips near Aganga Williams was held at the Harbour Point, Victoria Island, Lagos. The only menu of the event was dance, dance, and general jollification. Chivalaba de George, his sisters and other family members, who all seemed to have shed off the initial emotions, were in their true elements as they played host to other guests who have increased considerably in number, with more arrivals, Erelu Lushola Bada, Mrs. Omalola Inilola, Mr. Bodhi Emmanuel, Chief Ebenezer Babatope, former leader of the House of Representatives, Honorable Adeola Kondi. And with King Sonny Ade on the bandstand, it was enjoyment all the way. May God grant Madam Violet Remile Kun George Phillips ni Aganga Williams eternal rest in his bosom. <laughs> Oh, say, 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 oh, say